We tried filming this the other day, but the, all the footage got deleted because there was no audio. So we're back in again. Welcome back for another session. We're going to do a pool day today. We've got a very similar session today. We're going to take you through our workout today, how we're feeling for the week and everything else in between. I'm probably going to piss myself. It's leaking on my bladder. I pee after this. Good, come on. Three, two, one. That was good. Slay. Uh, really good. Cool. Oh. How much? Is that PB? Yeah, nine reps. Very happy. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Something that's really important when you watch Kayla and I train is that we're really, really good at spotting each other. So a good spotter can be really, really important and really helpful with your training and getting a little bit more out of each set. Knowing when and how much to assist at what part of the rep and what part of the set can literally make or break a few extra good reps or not. So if you have the access and you have the ability, communicate with your spotter, communicate to the person that you train with, and I promise you, you'll be able to get at least one, maybe even five more reps out of your set, which ultimately will help you a lot in terms of overall physique development and building more muscle in your training sessions. So I moved on to some lap pull down next. So got three sets here. Again, not a crazy amount of volume. Um, a lot of my days consist of more upper body at the moment than lower body. For me, I happen to, my legs happen to just grow a little bit better than some other body parts. So I don't need as much uh, lower body volume right now. So I've only really only got one leg day. Today's technically a posterior day. Bit of hammies in there, but quads, um, it's not something I struggle with at the moment. So it's predominantly lots of back, shoulders and chest.
They feel so much heavier. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I've been stuck on like eight reps for the last three weeks. Oh, really? Has I'm your body weight gone up? It's come back down after the weekend. Oh, really? But has it like turned it up? Yeah, but not that much. I feel like when I did the, before I did the mini cut, when I was on these calories, my weight shot up so much. Now, barely anything. My brain can't concentrate. Like that was when I finished, when I started the mini cut. It's only been sitting around there. It's been hanging around like 62 and 63. <laughs> I feel pretty fucking strong today. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've actually been, I've changed my meals around this week. So the meals have actually been the same, which changed the timing of it. So usually I would, I was waking up, not having my first meal until about nine, 10 o'clock, and then having my second meal after I train, I do my training session around one, two o'clock. Now what I've done is, is I'll have my first meal when I wake up, which is around four, 4.30. Then I'll go to work, um, pump out some sessions, and then I'll eat again at like 11, 11.30, then go train. And I found that my energy has improved massively um, since then, just because I've had like two meals in me. I think when it comes to when you're dieting or even even when you're building, like you obviously need to fit all the meals in and make it work for you. But just playing around with that meal timing is really, really important to help benefit your session, especially when you're dieting. Like you should be getting majority of your carbs around your training sessions just to make sure that you're utilizing your energy as much for those sessions, considering that you have an overall less amount of food coming in. So it's been really good. I felt a massive difference. So really good. My left hand is actually fucked. Bruh, I was like, why the fuck is that so light?
All day done and dusted. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying. And thank you for subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next video.